Hi everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Do Sue. I hope you're all okay. Welcome to any new subscribers and welcome back to any returning subscribers. I do appreciate your support. And if you're watching and you're not subscribed, it would be really helpful and great for you to join us on our journey and subscribe. Um, hit the like button, hit the bell, to, and then that will alert you to any future videos I do. Anyway, um, today we're going to be doing episode 28 of the DD Farago Challenge, hashtag 2021 TCTC. Today, it isn't a pocket, surprise, surprise, not really in strict sense of the word. It is this piece here, which I've gone and decorated, and it's made out of an envelope that was roughly this, well, it was this envelope that I made out of, this size envelope, I should say. And this envelope is eight and eight eights. No, two, four, six, eight and ten eighths wide uh, of an inch and four and four and four eighths in height. Dee Dee used one that was, um, what was hers, I'll just put my notes, four and a quarter inches tall by nine and a half inches wide. So I made this one out of this envelope. Today, I thought, as I've made one, and you can see what it looks like, I would make one out of a smaller one and see how we get on because this was white and it was quite difficult to cover it all up completely but what it is is if I take say this was my journal page it would fit on the journal page like this and over the back on the other side of the page you'd have this and you can make this into a little tuck so you could tuck something up there so it's a two-way piece and basically it opens out like this and you have a lovely big journaling area okay so i've decorated it all with a view to putting it in the peacock journal so that's what that one looks like okay so i thought we would try and do it with one this size because i don't have any long thin envelopes that are craft colored that don't have a window and I don't particularly want to use one with a window because I like to keep those for um, window pockets or window tucks that sort of thing so this one is just over six and a quarter inches wide and it is just under four and a half inches tall now you can use whatever size envelope you have, I think, with this. Having made one, I think I could safely say that you could use whatever size envelope. You know, have an have a, a experiment with it. So I'm just going to measure the centre of this envelope. So as I say, it is so it's two, four, five, six and five eighths of an inch wide so three and two and a half of an eighth then would be there okay okay that's how i have to do it so let's use the guillotine and let's see if we can cut this evenly okay so you should have two matching pieces like this right okay i just put the guillotine to one side so then they open out like this no they don't so the next thing we do sorry i always dither when i do these recreations of of Didi's um videos because i write notes as i watch them and think yeah yeah that's fine now i know what i'm doing i can do that it's easy when i come on video <laughs> I just, well, can't remember properly. So let's, what we want to do now is we want to cut a slither off 
the other end of that envelope, each end. So the closed ends of the envelope, in this essence, we want to take just a slither off. Let's see, I don't think these envelopes are completely straight, you know. Unless it's me. Poor workman always blames his tools, doesn't he? Yep. Right, we just want to take a slither off like that. I hope that's just I'm going to do that again because I wasn't convinced that had actually gone through the first time. So I'm not dropping pieces on the floor in case you wonder. I am actually behind me is a bin, well, to the side of me. Right, so now you should... Oh, do you know what? I took a slither off the end that was already open. How how absolutely stupid was that? Okay, here we go again. This is These videos, I think, are more how not to do something than how to do it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm not convinced that's lined up. Okay. I don't want to do them separately because they would be probably slightly different widths. We may find that they are anyway. So that did not quite get that edge off. That did. Right. That should be open now. So we should have, in theory... Two open pieces. Ah, hooray! We have two open pieces. Now we want to straighten up these edges. So, again, I'm going to do them together. And I'm just going to, to use the guillotine. And take those pieces off. Like so, so. we probably want the V because it kind of goes into V I need to take those off at least yeah they're not quite straight there's still a piece there envelopes are made very strangely I think the ones that you buy there's all sorts of bits hanging off them so that one's fine now this one's still not caught so we're going to have to do it separately that's it. I don't want to cut more than I have to off because they're not very big pieces. Right. Okay. So now we've got two pieces. Now just make sure that all these extra side bits like this are all stuck down because um, you don't want them to catch. So as I say, they're all made very oddly, I think, and you often find inside are a pe extra pieces that have been stuck down probably to reinforce them i guess i suppose when they made them they didn't expect us crafters to be um doing anything with them so we want to glue the two flaps together end to end like that so that they stick out like that they've got to stick out like a fin now because mine are shaped what i would like to do is I'd like to have them that way so I've got a straight edge either side either end like that and then I'm going to bend that over like so okay so I've bent that flap in and I've got a straight edge there and a straight edge there and I'm going to glue that down So I should be able to put some glue around here and yeah, uh, I'm just going to put it all over I think, I think yes. I'm only hesitating because I'm just wondering whether there'll be an area glued with nothing to stick to on the other side. So. We we want to make sure, this is where it gets tricky, that they're 
both pieces are in line with each other like so and that you can still fold them over like that and we'll just give that a press down and I think that is fine okay so now we just have to glue this piece no we don't we're not gluing that oh nearly did i nearly glued that down right so we've got our fin that's the piece that's going to go over the journal page so it's going to go over the journal page like that and on the back you'll have a little tuck okay right now all we need to do is to decorate it in a, your own choice of, so the middle four quarters if you like are going to be journaling spots so for the middle we just want some plainish paper that we can journal on and then we will have this so it will come up like this and then you pull that down like that okay so we want to yeah that's right so this just showed me that this here I think I'm going to put that flap underneath because it's shorter so I'm going to have two I'm going to have it like that which is the way I've got this one and then I'm going to open it when it's on the page so what you would do is that that piece there you would glue down two sides and put on the back of the page so it would be stuck down like that okay so you would open it like this okay like so so let's decorate so for this i thought i'd I'd print, I've got some pages out of a kit I purchased from Janie B and it's her blue butterfly kit. I haven't printed the whole kit, it's not all printed out um, because I purchased it and I've just held on to it, you know, I haven't really had any idea what I was going to actually do with it. Um, so now we can use it for this so we've got this lovely beautiful page we've got this one here which has got script in the background and it sort of like drips down here of almost i don't know water i suppose which is very pretty and then we've got this one which is a combination of all the colors with a bit of damask in the background some script again and all these various blues and greeny colours. They're very adaptable, I think, Janie's kits are. So we've got this gorgeous one here, which is beautiful. Then there's this page, which I thought would be ideal for the collar, the journaling pages. And then finally, we've got this lovely page, which is ideal for collaging. So I think... What we'll do first, maybe, is I'm going to ink around here and I'm going to use Vintage Photo for this because it is craft coloured. Okay, so I'm sure you don't want to see me inking around this because it takes a bit of time because there's so many different sides and bits so I'm just going to put you on pause and I'll be back shortly Hi, I'm back that was only a few seconds so I've inked all around it back both sides there's a lot of sides and bits and pieces to ink and I've already gone ahead and I've used that lovely sheet and I'm going to put these here for the journaling pages so let's get our glue book out and our glue stick and get these down so i thought i cut them out while i was on pause and 
ensure that you didn't have to watch me doing that as well so we don't want to go too far up to the um Uh, too far this is quite awkward I think unless it's me being awkward what I'm trying to say is you don't want to go too far up to the crease now I can't seem to get that straight or even right let's do it this way so corner to corner or thereabouts and it's easier that way and we give that a press down like so okay next quarter is this piece yeah so yeah it's been a very quick week i feel I feel like it's gone by in a flash I really do. So this, oh, hold on a second, that's that one. I just want to make sure I've got that the lines, you know, because it is lined, I would like, I would like it to line up. So I'm going to I find this bit fiddly, to be quite honest. I, and I didn't use my tear ruler this time. I thought for change, we'll just go all straight and normal. That's that one there. Okay. I'm not happy with that. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see. I'm finding it very awkward. <laughs> it's because it's so long. It's like a long snake. Right. Just check the pattern again. So it's up that way. So. This is not quite edge to edge, top and bottom on this piece. That's okay. But we just want to make sure it's even either side. Still not happy with it. <laughs> okay. It's a good thing about this Scotch glue stick. It does allow you to maneuver it about a bit and then we can just glue that back down and back down like so okay that's better okay right this is the next piece it's going to go in here i better just check where it's got to sit before i glue it this time so again, there's a little bit top and bottom, but that's fine. Okay, so we'll turn this page over. That's that way. Yeah, so we're now into July since I last videoed. Since my last one went up on YouTube, we've now gone into July. Isn't that scary? The children will soon be breaking up from school, won't they? For the summer holidays. I think Charlotte said three weeks and counting. So I'm sure the children will be delighted to have six weeks off, which is what we get in the UK for the summer break. Um... Yeah. So that one's that one's gone. Yeah, that's fine. That's to the top. So that's dried again now. So that's a long haul really for any parents who are working, I think. I used to find that the six weeks holiday quite difficult because you can take, you know, leave, annual leave, but Nobody in their right mind has six weeks to take because there are all the other half terms and the autumn break, the spring break and, oh, you name it, they break for it. Right, so now if it's just overlapping, 
what you can do is just gently cut down that excess like that so I can see there's a bit over the top here so I'm just cutting that hope you can see me okay oh my goodness me Right, I'm really sorry about that. I, I honestly don't know what happened. It suddenly went off and I couldn't see anything. Well, I thought it had gone off. I'm not sure if it had, but the screen went completely dark. And when I took the phone down off the, the mount, it had taken the, the um, you know, you can adjust the light on the screen. It had gone right down to as low as it could go. So I think it was still filming, but not, you couldn't see anything. It's like filming in a coal house. <laughs> anyway, I'm back again. <laughs> and so we've just finished doing this. <laughs> I was just trimming up some of the edges. And then, you never guess what, <laughs> I'm such an idiot, honestly. <laughs> it shows you how... It's not the right idea to finish work and then immediately get ready and do some crafting on video because I assumed wrongly that my I put always put my charger on I always plug it into my phone before I start videoing because I've had in the early days I didn't think to do that and then it would run out of battery halfway through. Well I had it all set up all on the charger but what I didn't check was whether the charger was actually plugged in and it wasn't plugged in the socket so oh I'm sorry I can't help laughing at my own stupidity oh god oh I'm just gonna I've gone all peculiar now I don't know what I'm doing well that's nothing new is it oh dear at least I can laugh at myself, can't I? Right, I'm just checking where I trimmed off any bits. I'm just re-inking again. Okay, right. Okay, so <laughs> what are we going to do now? So this is the bit that's going over. I have to keep saying that because I'm just remembering it myself. That's going over the journal page. Right, so we will need to cover both sides of that to strengthen it. So now what we want, this is going to be tucked in like this and this will be tucked up like that. So we want to start decorating. So I'll decorate this front piece first. <laughs> oh, God. And let's think, what should we use to put on the front of this lovely piece? We're going to say it's lovely. <laughs> Now, it's a shame to cut that out because that's too tall, really, I think. Yeah, I don't want to lose the tip. I don't really want to cut that down. But I could maybe, let's see. Let's have a look and see whether we can get this piece in here. So, if we... Okay, so... If I put that there like that, what will I see? Um, come down a bit. Uh, I think that would be quite nice to put on the front with that butterfly. And it looks like lavender in the background. It is lavender actually, yeah. So I just want to catch that bit of lavender in it. So I'm just going to mark where I want to cut this because I'm not using a tear ruler today so this is what I'm going to do like that and let's bring guillotine back <laughs> oh there's never a dull moment when you watch me is there you know you do you like to have a laugh I'm sure that's it, that's it there and 
can always rub your lines off afterwards. And we're going to cut it to that line there. And, and then we have a line here. Sometimes I put marks on things and I can't see them then when I, I'm trying to see what, what's up. So it's still got that little butterfly there, part of one, but it's good for collaging. And then we've got this nice piece here. We hope it's a nice piece. So, so again, that's the back, that's the front there. Okay. So it's not bad, not bad. A little bit maybe needs to come off the bottom. Yeah, I'd rather it came off the bottom than the top. So just using the guillotine because if I cut if I start cutting it, we'll end up with nothing. So before we put the guillotine back down, we just check again. So we've got that there. Still needs a little bit off. I rather cut it in small pieces, stage by stage, than um, cut a big chunk off and then think, ah, actually, I think I've cut too much off now. That's perfect top and bottom. We just need to slither off this side here. So I think we'll just go down like that and that I think is okay. Right, right we'll get rid of those bits and we will ink it up quickly. I don't know. I will probably have to splice it. This video together, I dare say, I'll probably have to go and um, watch it now. It does take a long time to upload these videos, you know, even if you don't make them very long. Because I don't know about other people, but I always feel I should just quickly watch. I mean, I, sometimes I fast forward through it, but I do like to check that everything's, you know, all right. And that, uh, you know, people can see you, that you're not just trying to straighten that camera. I just looked up and I thought it looked a bit crooked. Or, you know, I've, I, it, sometimes I've not realised that I'm totally in frame and I think, oh no, I don't want that. What I want is for you to see what I'm doing, not for you to see m my chest or top of my head or that sort of thing so let's go and slide that over a bit and then get that pressed down that's very pretty i think personally right so that's that bit so we'll now do this flap here and i think we'll use um, let's see, oh, if we use a piece of this would be nice, wouldn't it? I'm just going to trim off the white. I can just about do that okay, because I can, I'm all right if I'm following a line, she says. Okay, and we will, it's a tight... I had to adjust the paper in the printer. Well, I printed a couple of sheets and it looked like the paper, um, I don't know what you call it, the, the bit that you can slide, the slider bit that keeps it still kind of thing. I don't know what the technical term is for that. Okay, we're not cut anymore. We will now We'll put this down here like so. And we'll see if we can measure it this time without taking too much. Having to keep going back and cutting more off. So, actually I'll just take the top off because 
Well, I might as well take the whole white border off while I'm at it because my little guillotine could only take a certain height. I have put a larger guillotine on my wish list. I've got a craft list on wish Amazon, a craft wish list. It's literally for family, really. It's not something I link in my YouTube channel. But I'm hoping that maybe if I'm very lucky, either for birthday in November or for Christmas, maybe I might be lucky to get something like that. But my last year, um, my daughters and their partners and hubby and I, we decided to get a present. We decided to do a secret Santa between us. Um, because obviously I buy for the children, grandchildren, you know, and um, I know that the girls find it, you know, they've got, they've got, children to buy for their own kids and you know the grandchildren and obviously I'd rather they spent their money on them rather than on us who you know we've got we, we don't need anything really we're lucky you know and, it, it, and what we did was we decided on a limit for money and just put that guillotine on I just put it down, it's, it's safe on the floor. Okay, so, so let me just recap because, yeah, this is the piece I'm doing. So I'm going to put this here, like this. And I think it probably will need trimming. Yeah, that does not look straight to me. Anyway, we decided on a limit. I'm trying to remember what it was for last year now. It was something like, I don't know, 50 or... Yeah, I think it was 50. 50 pounds each. And what we did, it's probably going to be too short now, is we put the names in a hat and then we chose name and all we had to do is buy one one um, purse for one person and we each wrote down or we each set up a, a kind of a list of things that we'd like so you could buy that person a combination of things that all added up to that amount of money or they might just want a big thing you know so so not only did we kind of save on the adults money wise we also got what we wanted rather than we didn't know what they that person would pick the secret santa would pick for us off our lists so although you had an idea it would be one of so many things you didn't know what you were going to get i mean let's face it i think you know the excitement of Christmas and not knowing what you get is mainly for children, you know. They don't know what they're getting at all. And Although I do ask my grandsons, you know, sort of thing. And then um, I, ask them to set, I ask them to do an Amazon wish list. And that Arthur's is as long as can be. I mean, one year he actually wrote a list out for me. And um, it was like a long piece of um, till roll in the end, it looked like. <laughs> so many things on it. <laughs> but that's the wonder of Christmas, I think, you know. That children still believe in Santa and, you know, it, it's just lovely. It really is for them, I think. Oh, it's lovely for the adults as well. A nice glass of something nice if you're that way inclined <laughs> gin and tonic for me please so I'm going to do this piece here I'm going to do this 
I think I'm tempted to do it in the same paper, you know, and then back we'll do something else. Let's have a look. What I did with the other one is I collaged the whole thing. I thought, you know, that can, I'm a bit of a slow collager, I think. So we will do this again on here, I think. Right, so. Yes, it worked out really quite well. And it was still a surprise, you know, still didn't know what you were getting. And, you know, you said a thing, you didn't, didn't necessarily say, I want this, I want a Gucci bag or whatever kind of thing. Didn't have to give brand names or anything. So, you know, that part was still a surprise, I guess. But at the end of the day, instead of having to buy for what, Charlotte, Rachel, Andy, um, and Rachel's partner, um, Jay, um, instead of buying all of those, we just had one present to buy for, so that was quite nice. And you, you end up getting, I think, what I consider decent present as opposed to um, maybe people just buying you things like, you know, socks and slippers and, you know, I actually put slippers on my list last year because I love boot slippers. I love the boot ones and uh, in the winter I live in those at home. I did have a pair, but I wanted to get, I like to put them in the washing machine. So, so obviously they have to be the washable sort, but you know, I like to wear those. So, um, I've actually put slippers on my list, but you know, so this year, if I think we might do it again, I'm gonna propose that we do. Um, and let's hope that, uh, this year we can all see each other at Christmas as opposed to what previous Christmases, especially last year. It was horrible, really. Horrible. Not being able to see your grandchildren and your own grown-up kids. You know, I like to see my kids face to face. Yeah, we can Zoom, we, we WhatsApp video all the time and Zoom video, but it's not the same as seeing them face to face, I don't think. So, so far, that's the piece going over the back. So that will be the front, that tucks up, that tucks in. And then we just want to do this side. So last time I did the, pay, I did the piece on the back upside down, but actually, in retrospect, I don't think we're going to see. So I thought when you flipped it up like that, you might want to see something up the right way but I don't know that you do so I don't think it matters too much let's put it that way so I've had a bit of a crafter lunch all my bits of paper seem to have fallen on the floor all the bits I've cut off um so let's have a look and see what we want to put on this side I think we'll maybe go for something like this with with some nice colour and script in. So um, we've got some green in, in this and in here. So that would be nice. So let's um let's pick, I think we'll pick this piece in the corner here because it's got green and blue and um some nice script in the background. So on a I oh see getting all twiddled about. I don't think it matters what way up it is, so you know it doesn't really matter too much. So when I do that I want to put the thing that whatever I'm putting there I want to put it upright. Uh, 
Oh, let's do it. Let's put it upright. Okay, let's cut round this quickly. Take the border off. Oh, I've got something stuck to my scissors. Right. Well, I think we'll cut down here. Oh, I'm being daring. I'm cutting freehand. And we're going to cut that border off. Like that. And we're going to... I think we'll move it up. So we've got a bit of blue on it. So here we go. My great idea. It's okay. I'm not using the scissors. I am not. I'm using this. My trusty little friend, this is. Checking, just checking, I'm second guessing myself all the time. And yeah, so what's everyone up to for the weekend? Oh, we haven't really got any plans. Paddy boy has just been to the vets with my husband. He's just got home from work, finishes earlier on a Friday, and he's had to take Paddy boy to the vet, not anything serious, um, just he has been having the odd little, I don't know what you call them, episode where he just goes all stiff and stares into the, into, you know, space and um, it's sort of like a fit, a seizure. I don't know what type it would be called. We don't know why he's having them. He started, he's, he is um, five and he's, yeah, he's just under six and he's um, been having them, I suppose. See, that isn't straight where I've cut. I'm going to have to trim that been having them now for about, well, I think the first one started roughly in the second lockdown, if I remember rightly. But time goes so quickly, you know, that could be wrong. And he's on medication now as a result. Um, yeah, he's on, you have to give him a, a tablet and a half every day. Um, which we have to give to him either in a piece of cheese or we give it to him some very, we can buy very, in the UK you buy, I don't know if you can buy it elsewhere, packs of what they call very thin ham, which is lovely for sandwiches, actually I like the thin ham, and we give it to him in a piece of ham, uh, roll it up in a little parcel and then stand over him while he, you know, make sure he swallows it whole because I have found a tablet on the stairs before where he had it in a piece of cheese and he actually managed to get it out even though we kind of cut a little, you know, divot into it and push the tablet in and make sure that it's not visible. You know, she's a race astute is Paddy <laughs> so poor old Paddy so he's had to if we have if we want to have a repeat prescription we have to take him back for medication review um, they do email the prescription now to my husband because he demanded that they did because he can buy the exact same tablet from a vet online for well it's about a third of the price of the vets um vet can't really say no it's the same as if you go to an optician in the uk and you have your eyes tested and they give you a prescription you don't you're not uh, duty bound to have your glasses with them you can actually um have them 
wherever you want to go so you might find somewhere cheaper so i'm just looking in my scrap box for something to put over there that is a bit thicker i think than copy paper but would still maybe match in we do have some bigger pieces here yeah so so also we're going to um hopefully going to the republic of ireland in september to spend some time with my husband's parents who live on the outskirts of dublin in a beautiful place called greystones right on the coast so they're literally 10 minutes from the beach and it's beautiful and we go once a year if we can my husband sometimes goes more than once a year can't find anything in there suitable he sometimes goes more than once a year because they are getting on a bit now and obviously you know he needs to see them as much as he can so sometimes you know when in in pre-covid i'd say to him well why don't you just fly over for a long weekend and and he would so uh so that was nice for him but obviously with covid we haven't been able to go we'll not really go on a plane unless you've got a specific reason for going which is fair enough totally understand that okay i think we will just put some some of this on then if we put it front and back it should strengthen it so i'm just cutting off the rest of that border so anyway paddy has Paddy comes with us. We go on the Irish fer Irish ferries, and he comes with us. So now, um, because of um, EU regulations, we have and the Republic of Ireland is a country in its own right. It's nothing to do with Northern Ireland. That's part of the UK. So it's Southern Ireland, which is the Republic of Ireland, and that has its own rules and they're still in the EU obviously and they want pets to have a pet passport now for travelling and so I'm just going to put that on and trim round it so he had to have his booster vaccinations, so my husband had to take his passport with him so he could have his booster vaccinations for that. Uh, he's had his rabies, he had that last year. Last year we cancelled the holiday because of Covid, so we were in credit still with Irish ferries. So. We've booked again for September in the hope that we will be able to go. So Paddy has to have sedation on the ferry. He goes in the kennel there. But we try and sedate him so the vet always gives us a sedative just before we go with instructions on when to give it to him. Um, which is quite difficult really sometimes when you're queuing up for the ferry because you never know quite when it's going to be ready to board and all of that so um yeah so so his irish his irish passport his past pet passport is up to date now so that's what he went for today to get that up to date to get a new prescription for his medication for his seizures and to get a prescription for um, if his seizure is really difficult and prolonged then we tend to have to give him it's, it's actually diazepam diazepam and it is a rectal um, suppository we have to give it to him as quick as possible and it will calm him down if he's having a particularly bad one. He doesn't have them regularly, fortunately, um, 
I suppose, I don't know how he's had one in the last few months. It's not like he's having them constantly all the time, thank goodness. And hopefully it won't come to that either. So... Yeah, it's when you have a pet, you know, especially when your kids have grown up and they've left home, it becomes like your child, it really does. So, you know, you worry about them in the same way as you do your kids. And obviously they can't talk to you and tell you what's wrong with them. I mean, he can't say to us why, how he feels when he thinks he's going to have one of these episodes all we've noticed is that he starts licking his lips a lot leading up to it that's about it really there's not really any other sign um but dara's parents absolutely adore him and they love seeing him and he's thoroughly spoiled when he's over there and we can actually you know they're his sort of Grand, he's a, he's their grand dog, I suppose you'd call it. And um, oops! And if we wanted to leave him with them and go somewhere for the day or whatever, you know, we could because they love him. In fact, his dad has. Well, I think he was joking, but kind of joking, but not joking. When we last took him, said, "Oh, Paddy, you're staying, aren't you?" You're going to stay in Ireland because that's your that's your home, that's your birthright. <laughs> okay, so there we have that all covered. So we've got our journaling space there. Just need to stick that down. We won't put any more anything else on those because that's for journaling. We've got a butterfly there and a butterfly there. We've got this flaps and then it goes over the page so if this is your journal page um, it will go over there like that and you would glue down that side and that side and then you would be able to tuck something up there like that and if you wanted to round those corners you could in fact we could do that now let's get there corner around and I hope this is dry and then that will make a nice little tuck on the other side of the page like that so we just ink that where we've snipped that off tiny tiny bit there just sticking out like so okay so right so that is done apart from uh decorating it so i thought maybe we could put let's think we could put a label on let's have a look and see what labels we have in here Something blue would be nice. So that one says vegetation. I think it's a bit too big. There's a little one there. It's got December the 30th, 1912, 6 p.m. I think that's too big as well. There's one there with just a number on. And we could put something up here. What could we put up there in the corner? Let's see, let's have a think. Any, anything else in here? I don't really want to put too many. What about a word? A word would be nice, wouldn't it? So let's put on it one of Angela Kerr's typewritten words called and it says beauty and 
we're going to quickly trim this up because I don't like it to be all squared off. So I'm just going to make shape it like that and I'm going to get some of the webbing and I've already got pieces that from other pieces so we're going to put that up there we're going to put that down there let's ink around those let's try and be quick Susan because you've already stopped and started this a few times so that can go on there and that can go on there So, our glitter glue. Just bought another one of these art glitters. Very expensive though. I wanted the big one, but in the UK, the big one was quite expensive. And I just thought, you know, I can't really justify that expense for just buying glue I'm going to use the beacon three and one especially as I've just bought some more scotch glue sticks and also I will be needing some more of that this three and one shortly so So that is that. Like so. Okay. So that's that page. I think that's enough on there. Don't really think we need to put anything on these. Um, what we could put on, actually, I could put a sticker. So, just get them down. So now all my stickers are in this box, and I don't want anything too bulky to go on these because they have got to go over the page of a journal, and I think you know. So that's quite nice. That hyacinth. Oh, this is nice. This is an iris. Do you want a hyacinth? I always think they're spring flowers, which they are. Do I want a spring flower on this? Or oh, actually, I prefer this one. But that's going to blend in so much. So is that one. You're not going to actually see it. Let's go for a totally different colour. So we have in here this lovely yellow one. Don't know what flower that is. It's very pretty. And we also have... They're very slippery, these labels. I can't actually get one in my hand. So we've got that one. That would be pretty, that daisy. Or this, this one. Put the daisy. Again, I don't think that daisy is going to show up very well. Um, that won't either. Okay. What about that? Good thing about stickers is things show through it. So we've got some nice lilac here, that's pretty. That's pretty. And maybe these down here, just to give it something a bit different. So we'll have those there like that. Slippery little customers. Okay, so I'm following 
Dee's advice at Dee's Crafty Place. The times I've spent ages trying to sort out these labels, these stickers. So I think it's just a nice hint there of a layer, an extra layer. And then Dee came along and said, oh, use your thumb and roll down the top corner. And hey presto, it actually works. So we've got the flower in the foreground and the butterflies in the background. And we have some sticker kind of washi. Just if I can get this bag undone quickly enough. I was thinking we have some here that might go there. That just shows up that flower a bit better. And if I put one there like that, yeah, I think those would be fine. I like those. So peel it down from corner with your thumb and there it is so instead of labels I'm using stickers for these just a bit different Right, I have got it. Right. That's not straight. Goodness me. That's better. That corner has somehow got itself creased down. That's better. Right. Okay, that's, I like that. I just like the subtlety. And, and there is some of that pink in the butterflies, purpley pink. So that's that and that and that. And then on the back. Um, on the back, well, we didn't do it up the right way, we did it up this way. So I don't think it matters too much about whether we put anything on there or not, to be honest. So I'm going to call that a day, call, to call it a video and say, here are our pieces made out of one envelope. So this goes over the back, it's quite strong now. So that's a tuck on the back of your journal page. So you flip it up like that, flip up there, flip down there, and there you have your journaling spots like so. I don't think you'd see that really. But it doesn't matter if the script's upside down. We could put something on there, I guess. But I think I'll wait and see what it looks like in the journal when I've come to use it. I think that's what I'll do and then I'll make a decision because if, if all else fails, I could actually cover that with something else if I thought that was upside down. But you see, I did this one. So again, this goes over your page and I think I'm going to round the corners actually on this one too. I do like that. It makes a huge difference. Actually, that's the wrong ink because I used blue. So, 
that goes on the journal page then so we've got it flipping oops what's happened okay so we've got it that, that's it right so we've got it on the journal page and then we open it and it flips up and it flips down like that and then I put that up upright in case you flip it up like that so this one if you flip it up it's going to look upside down so I may have to recover that with a piece that goes up the other way because to me that's the best way it should look but it's all down to personal taste so there we have them I think they're quite dinky myself and I really like this one made in a small envelope so how do you film how do you picture those take a photo of these how do you show their beauty difficult isn't it difficult to show them um to show what they actually are okay right that's enough waffling from me um sorry about the interruptions and um, this will go up tomorrow, Saturday. And then because I work four days a week, full time, full time days, uh, seven and a half hours a day, I am doing all my videoing Friday after work and however long that takes into the evening and then as much as I can do on Saturday, much as I can do on Sunday, and then obviously I don't work on Monday, so as much as I can do on Monday. So Monday I have to go to the dentist for a checkup. So I normally go over six months and it's been nearly two years. Um, so Monday will be interrupted because I have to go to the dentist, I have to go to the hospital where I work, pick up a lateral flow kit that I'm due again um they aren't there when i go actually go into work so i'll do it on my day off and and i have to pick up a parcel from asda they have little asda on site at stoke mandeville so the hospital so that's where i shall get my parcel from so that is me i keep seeing bits sticking out okay right All my hands are covered in blue ink from the chip sapphire. Right, that's it. I will see you again shortly. Okay, take care everyone. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.